So at the moment, the cylinder is closed. This is the primary regulator, which tells me how much pressure there is in this cylinder. And it's just short of 200 atmospheres. And then I've got a secondary regulator here, who's going to tell me what the pressure is. So I'm just going to put on, oh, I don't know, a couple of bar. Right? And we're going to open it. So that's just a couple of bar. A couple of bar I can hold with my finger. Not that big of a deal. If I jack this up to, oh, I know, six bar, yeah, it gets harder to hold with my finger. All right. And if we jack it up to about 10 bar, it now gets really difficult to hold with my finger. Not just, I don't, really can't do it. Nice, right, 10 bar. If I take this off and open the cylinder, that's 200 bar, which, as you can tell, is going to be loud. So let me get a wrench and I'll, I'll do that. So, this is now going to be 200 bar, okay? Uh, make sure you're actually braced into the wall. <laughs> Loud enough? <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> Whew, it's quite a blast comes off that. But anyway, so, so that's what 200 bar looks like. And that's basically what Elon Musk would be proposing to use to accelerate and decelerate his cars, which is an absolute farce on so many levels. But anyway, let's see if we can do something else interesting with these cylinders. So here I have my high pressure transfer turbine. Uh, oh, you'll notice I've got various pieces of uh, tape stuck on here. That's so the thermal camera can actually see them. Otherwise, the thermal camera really won't see uh, the temperature of the metal. So here I have my cylinder, which I'm about to fill. Uh, so this thing is, it's about 10 bar. Okay. So, let's hook this guy up, just plus the line. Uh, that's the line a little, that's good. So I've never done this before. Um, and you really do have to respect your high pressure gases. You really do. Now this is just to give you a demonstration of some of the problems that you get uh, when dealing with high pressure gases. Uh, the most important one being heat flow. So if I were to just get a, a bicycle pump, uh, you only compress it probably a factor of 5 to 10, but that can actually get hot to the touch. And that's only giving you 5 atmospheres of pressure. Here I have 200 atmospheres of pressure. In principle, if you take gas and you compress it a factor of 200, the temperature of that gas goes up to about 2,000 Kelvin, which... Um, uh, that, that, that's going to do some damage. Now, all right, you know, most of it, most of the heat gets absorbed by the big bricky things, but it's still a lot of energy to have in the gas that you've got to dissipate. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently open this one, and gently open this one. Now, this one doesn't matter so much. This one can be mostly open. And then this one... There we go, just like that. Now, ah, instantly you can see where it's getting cold. Yeah, so it's getting cold here, and this guy's heating up almost straight away. That's amazing. Oh, he's, he's, he's warm to the touch. Now, this is where you've got to be really careful. This is, this is not, um, I'm not really opening these things up. Yeah? They're only just, yeah, this guy is, is hot to the touch. Well, no, okay, not hot to the touch, he's warm to the touch. Let's, let's give him a bit more. All right, so we started this at about 10 bar on it. Uh, 
I'm not quite sure where he's at at the moment. Actually, you see now the whole cylinder here is starting to cool down. Yeah? You see most of the cooling here, but it's all over the place. This guy, oh, now he's getting up to... I'm going to stop that. As I was saying, I've not done this before. And he's... It's a body temperature type. Oh, you see, he's the same temperature as me, yeah? <laughs> so if I were to just crank that over to 200 bar, this thing goes to uh, probably 200 degrees, I would guess. You know, wouldn't you include the mass and the cylinder and everything? Okay, we got all that. Yeah, looks like it. Right, so when I take this off, of course, there's going to be the, the, the spare gas venting just in the connector. I just want to see how much I transferred over. Right? You'll recall that this guy... This guy had about 10 bar... Ooh! This is, this is really chilly. This is freezing temperature. Right, let's see how much gas we actually transferred. So actually, now let's do it the way we're around. Oops. Okay, so let's make sure we're all closed up. And I put in about 60 bar there. Right? So that went from about yeah, 5 bar to 60 bar. And that was enough to heat it to... Uh, you know, body temperature. So if I put in three times as much gas to put it up to 200 bar, this thing would be a hundred and something degrees. Right, vent all that. Cool. Done.